Welcome to Keep Your Head Up, LACC's flagship wellness program. I'm your host, Tracy Escobedo, and today we will be exploring a number of views on how to stay uplifted and joyful during difficult times. The last year has been challenging for everyone, whether you have been faced with personal loss, financial loss, or simply the loss of contact with people you love. We have all had to find new ways to stay positive and connected. On today's episode, we are going to explore how people are finding new ways to bring joy into their lives. To start things off, let's talk about hobbies and how important they have been to my well-being lately. To keep my mind focused on the bright side, I have found that baking provides a great distraction and helps me tap into my creative side. From looking for recipes, from looking for new recipes to challenging myself to create new things like a rough puff pastry for a tart tan. But most of all, I enjoy treating my friends and, and family to delicious baked goods and seeing their reaction. And I'm not the only one who has, whose hobbies have sustained them. Last episode, we asked you, our loyal viewers, to send in your hobbies. And I must say that I am completely blown away by the response. We got a picture of Tyler in Koreatown hanging out with a copy of Homicidal Cycle Jungle Cat. Doesn't that book look so fun? We also have a picture of MJ enjoying nature, and there is truly nothing like taking a hike and an outdoor nap. It's so relaxing and so good for your mental health. Check out this picture of Jen in Highland Park looking oh so proud of her houseplant. Have you noticed how popular houseplants have become over the past year? I really think they have replaced fur babies. Here we have our correspondent, Eddie doing what he loves the most, recording music and slapping the bass. We have the most photogenic viewers in the land, I must say. And I think it's time that I get myself a house plant because truth be told, I've been thinking about growing my own herbs for a couple months. I really enjoy the idea of, you know, farm to table. But anyways, thank you so much to everyone who sent in these delightful submissions. They are truly wonderful. Next up, we have a special report from our people person, Eddie Resto. Eddie, tell the viewers at home a little bit about yourself and how you have been keeping your head up during these difficult times. Well, first of all, I wanna thank you, Tracy, for having me. I really enjoy watching LACC TV and I'm proud to be a part of it. I also wanna thank all the people watching at home. This, is, this has been an amazing year. Uh, I cannot describe it with words. This is all global, the whole world. Um, as, a, as a musician, uh, I play music and I connect with an audience. And that connection is my survival. It's my sanity. It's also my health, my social life. That evaporated during this pandemic. Now, as a result of stay at home, we rely on the internet, um, social media. That's the way that I connect with my family, my friends. Facebook and live streaming is a way that musicians showcase their talents and they connect with each other across the globe. But nothing can compare to being together and I can see that that's something that we need desperately to be together. For myself to survive, I take long car drives up the coast and I bring my books with me and I read and I play my guitar and I'm very careful. You know, I practice safe protocols. Uh, I went back to school in February and I didn't realize that I would be in the cinema department, but here I am studying something I never thought I would study and I love it. And here I am also learning, you know, live streaming. This is amazing. Uh, the technology has risen. I have a lot of gratitude in my heart too for the essential workers, the people that worked in the hospitals, the people that work in supermarkets, 
to deliver food, to take care of elderly and sick, my heart goes to you. I also would love to give a hug to educators and people involved in education to help students complete their degree and complete their studies. And that has been amazing as they use this technology, stay at home education. I have a special person in my life. He's a bass player, a friend of mine. He's also a fitness instructor. His name is Jonathan. Let's hear what he has to say. Hey, Eddie. Thanks for having me today. Thank you for joining us. Really appreciate your presence. Just gonna ask a couple of questions. What's it been like for you during this trying year, this difficult time? Uh, how has making music helped you during this time? Well, um, you know, this year has been trying for everybody, clearly. Um, and I, to be perfectly honest with you, uh, music hasn't been the biggest part of this year for me. Um, I have, I have a band called LKYM, pronounced LKYM, um, and we have actually released three songs during the pandemic. Um, one last May, one last September, and one just recently in, in, on February 12th called The Boat Keeps Rockin'. Um, so we've been putting out music. We were working on a record before the pandemic hit, and we've continued to work on this record, albeit slowly, um, but we've managed to remotely continue to produce this album and, and get songs done and then release them as singles one at a time. What we've really focused on is with each release, raising money for the LA Food Bank, where $1 really goes into four different meals in one day. Um, the amount of money that you can raise for the LA Food Bank makes a really big difference for, for the people of Los Angeles. Um, and so we've raised about $1,600 for the LA Food Bank this year with our releases. Um, we want to keep our fans engaged. We want to keep giving back. And we know that although musicians are hurting really badly right now, um, that there are people out there hurting more and that we can help. And so we've really wanted to help. Um, but you know, for me, music has always been a very communal experience. And not being able to make music with people has been really challenging this year um, and has actually changed some of my focus and some of the things that have been inspiring me this year. This year I got a lot more into um, filmmaking. I bought a camera, a Sony camera. I've been shooting a lot more. I've also gotten much more into editing um, using Adobe Premiere. And so I've begin, began transitioning and expanding my artistry into a wider net of media than just music. Um, to be a hundred percent frank, like I think I just wasn't that inspired musically this year. Um, but lately, that fire is starting to come back, and I've been—I just got my piano tuned, and that's been really beautiful to sit down and play the piano. Um, I pick up my bass, you know, and and my guitar, and. I'm starting to make more music. I'm starting to feel more inspired. It also looks like on the horizon there's a potential uh, to be scoring a, a feature film this year. So all of those juices are starting to kind of come back. Um, ju music is a constant in my life. It has saved my life multiple times and it will always be there. It was just um, surprisingly nice to kind of put it down this year and learn some other tools, some other skills. Amazing. One of the things that drew me to you, uh, an aspect of your personality, is your Pilates instruction. And uh, I'd like to ask you, how has exercise kept you grounded during this time? Well, uh, honestly, it has definitely saved my mental health, um, not only in, you know, uh, strengthening my body and creating more flexibility and mobility, um, but also just giving me a, an outlet to release some emotional uh, um, energy, some pent-up energy. Um, 
I have made it a, uh, I've made it very much my mission this year to spend as much time outside at the park and doing these exercises. Um, Joseph Pilates, who, who created this, this, um, this method, he was a big believer in exercising outdoors with as little clothing as possible. He actually, as a, as a young boy, had rickets and was able to heal himself uh, from rickets by exercising in the sun. So he was a real avid believer in that. Um, and Pilates has just really given me a, a, a strong foundation. This year, I built a business, uh, a coaching business with my partner. Um, during this pandemic and during everything, feeling like it was just going the wrong way, we decided to create a business that uh, is designed to help people learn and experience more joy and pleasure in their lives. And we believe that to experience more joy and pleasure in your life, you need the, the pillars for that are through movement, through play, through vulnerability, um, you know, through uh, sex, through great relationships, um, you know, and through music, definitely through music, and that's part of play. Um, and so we've crafted this business now where we, we work with people on an emotional level, on a spiritual level, but it begins with getting them to move first, getting them to sweat, getting them in their body so that they can get into their spirit, so that they can feel connected to their breath and feel connected to their spirit. Um, we do Reiki and meditation, but it all starts with movement first. Um, and so not only has this really impacted my mental health and my happiness and my joy this year, but I've, being able to share it has also really made a big difference. Um, one of the things that I was very keen on doing this year was creating a program designed for creative people and in specific my community of musicians because we are very physical people. We are using our bodies all the time and we're doing so in a misaligned way. When you're standing and playing your bass, this arm is like this, this one is down here. We never switch. We're never like as if we're dancing where we have this, this static dance partner and so we kind of develop some imbalances in our shoulders and our wrists and our fingers and stuff like that. So designing a program with those things in mind and with this community in mind has been really important. And how you and I have gotten to reconnect this year uh, virtually, but I mean, so powerfully, more so this year than in the past through music. Being two bass players, we can never really be on the same gig together. You know, we can learn from each other, we can teach each other, but really that that communal hang that is so important for musicians, I mean, I'm sure your best friends are drummers. My best friends are drummers too, right? But bass players, we always have a deep affinity for each other, but we never get to be on the gig together. So okay. this has really given us a chance to kind of put all that aside and get down to our humanity and get down to just feeling good and joyful in our bodies and in our space. As musicians, we draw inspiration from other people, like you're just mentioning right now. Um, who are some of the people in your life that have helped you through this pandemic? Um, well, definitely my partner, Jamie Anderson, has been a massive influence on me. And the business that we've created together is called Coopetition Coaching. Uh, you can find it at coopetitioncoaching.com. Um, she is somebody who... When she sees fear, she heads right towards it. When she sees discomfort, she moves right through it. Um, she is somebody that is unafraid to be challenged, unafraid to grow, unafraid to learn, um, and is just so incredibly loving and has such a massive heart. I mean, she puts love into everything she does, from the food that she makes to the friendship she creates and, and the coaching that she does. Um, she's amazing. Also, I would have to say my band, um, they have been a massive influence on me in the last few years. They have helped me take my sound from it being like a shotgun blast and turning it into a laser beam, focused and direct and, and with a lot of intention. They've really helped me kind of whittle away all the excess. And through this year, they have still maintained you know, doing their parts and, and doing stuff remotely, helping me with some social media or, or YouTube stuff or whatever, all just kind of still chipping in, 
when none of us are making any money doing this and and actually like you know we're the money that we are making we're we're donating to the LA food bank so um, everybody just really kind of banding together in that has really been helpful and has felt like has given me a lot of energy to move forward with all of these releases um, you know the last release the boat keeps rocking is a, an old song that we really kind of put some new life into and it's I think the best thing that I've ever, that I've ever released with them or separately um, and that's available kind of everywhere so that those were the two main things and then my family you know my family's always a, a pillar in my life um, um, so they're just they've you know they've brought a lot of sobriety to this year and um, and then I would just say my students the people who come back people like you Eddie you definitely inspire me your desire to to grow and learn and feel healthier and happier than you've ever been is something that really inspires me to to continue to give and to continue to share this stuff with people because it, I don't need a hundred students. I just need one who really wants to learn this stuff, you know? Um, so yeah, you've been a big, big source of inspiration in the last couple of months for me. Thank you, Eddie. That's mutual, my brother. One last question. Who are you most excited to see when we are again able to see each other in person? Everybody, everybody. I just, I'm a big hugger and I'm a big man and I give really good hugs and I'm excited about giving hugs to everybody that I miss, including you, my friend. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing live music again. I'm definitely looking forward to performing um, and seeing fans and friends, but yeah, just kind of being back in the community and, and, and seeing musicians hang out and watch each other play and listen to all the brilliance. And, and also, um, I think that once this is all kind of done and behind us, however that's going to look, there's going to be a lot of healing that's happening. And, you know, musicians, we're both a source of pain, but also a source of healing. And to see how this community takes this trauma and creates a lot of beauty with it is something that I'm very excited about. Jonathan, you're a special man. Thank you so much for joining us on LACC TV. And I look forward to tonight's class. And again, thank you so much for joining us. I'd like to give it back to Tracy. Take it away, Tracy. Welcome back. Thank you, Eddie, for that wonderful segment on how to incorporate fitness and music. Now joining us on the show is Barb, here to share with us some of her tips and tricks for how to stay motivated during quarantine. Hey, that's me. Motivations with Barb. <laughs> Welcome, Barb. How are you doing? I'm doing fantabulous. Thanks for having me. Thank you for joining us. Uh-huh. Of course. So tell us. T tell us what are some of your for your tips for staying motivated oh yeah i got a couple good ones saved just for you tracy <laughs> all right i'll give you my favorite one first oh, okay here we go I, I want you to do it with me smile and the world will smile back and it will smile right back at you <laughs> there it is do it i can't i yep. can't smile any bigger <laughs> That's a big smile you have there. Thank you. I have another one. I'll give you another good one. This is a real good one. Everyone can always. All right. Yep. Stay, let's hear it. Stay busy. And, okay. So stay smile and stay busy. Um, so tell me, yeah. Barb, how, how are you staying busy? Oh, boy. I tell you, I have six doggos. Six of them. I'm part of the dog squad here. Squad goals. We go to the park, we look at the squirrels, and that pretty much sums up how I stay busy. <laughs> okay. Okay, so tell us, so what are some of your other tips and tricks? Oh boy. This is, this one is a, it's a good one, but also it's a little sad, I feel sometimes. All right, here we go with this one. Keep a diary. Doesn't have to be pink, but it, it, a bright color helps. Uh, you know, keep the dark thoughts away. So keep a diary and park all your bad feelings in there. Like for example, I was 
waking up this morning and I was like, I don't want to get out of bed. And I'm like, Barb, that's negative. Put it in the diary. I did. I shut the diary. And now that dark thought is out of my mind and I'm here to be positive and have a great day. Oh, that, that's an interesting approach. So you, instead of writing down positive thoughts, you yeah. write down all the negative thoughts yeah. and sort of trash them away in this Exactly. In this you can even do this if you like. You can even do one of these if you're like, hey, that's negative, Barb. You can just rip it out. There it goes. I don't even know. I don't remember what it was. <laughs> that's an interesting approach, Barb. Well, thank you for joining us on the show. Oh, um, yeah, and thank you pleasure. to everyone at home for, for watching. Uh, thank you to Eddie, to Jonathan for, um, for contributing to to this week's um, episode. And thank you to all of our viewers who sent in pictures. We will see you next week. Bye.